splice foot is a new and innovative way of mounting solar to composition shingle roofs. It has a simple design but is packed with unique features to give installers many options for mounting the K2 crossrail system in a fast and efficient way. There are two versions of the splice foot. The splice foot X has a low profile design to keep the array tight to the roof for better aesthetics, eliminating the need for the additional cost of array skirts. Combined with the Crossrail 44X, the splice foot has a height range of 1.97 inches to 2.74 inches. The splice foot XL has a height range of 2.64 inches to 3.47 inches. Set the rail in the middle of the slot to allow for height adjustments. A box of the splice foot X and XL include 20 splice feet. 45 mm self-tapping screws, two per mount for the rafter attachment, 20 T-bolt sets, one per mount. The T-bolt sets are in a separate hardware bag, so you can put them aside for when it's time to attach the crossrail racking system. Once the roof is marked with your module and array layout, you can then determine which shingle course will be the best to install the splice foot. Mounts should always be placed on a whole shingle course, never overhanging the drip edge of the shingle. The location is determined by the module manufacturer's specification for clamping zones on the frame of the module being installed. Shingle lines are not always straight, so it is best to snap a chalk line to determine the best location for the mounts in a straight line. This will avoid rails from bending due to misaligned mounts. Snap chalk line using the mount's built-in L-foot or ridge as a reference point. The splice foot X should have the longer flange pointed up towards the ridge of the roof. The splice foot XL has a taller profile with a built-in rail support shelf. The shelf should point up towards the ridge of the roof. Once your mount lines are marked on the correct shingle course, you can peel the protective paper and place the splice foot in your mounting locations. Be sure the roof surface is free of debris and moisture. The provided wood screws will self-seal with the butyl within the right temperature range. The acceptable temperature range for installing the splice foot is between 22 and 176 degrees Fahrenheit. Use a temperature reader to determine the roof and butyl temperature. If needed, use a heat gun to raise the temperature. Note that you are measuring the temperature of the roof and butyl, not the ambient weather temperature. Once the mount is placed, use a 5 16 inch nut driver to install the two wood screws provided. Rafter connections should always be installed in the two middle holes of the mount. The splice foot screws are self-tapping and self-sealing, eliminating the need for pilot holes and sealant. Finding rafters can sometimes be challenging. Before getting on the roof, it's always a good idea to look up at the rafter bays to see the rafter spacing. Most rafters are spaced 16 inches or 24 inches on center, but of course there can be odd spacing. The most traditional way installers find rafters is knocking with a hammer. When rafters are not easily detected and there is no attic access, the last resort is drilling a small pilot hole to positively identify the rafter. Do not over torque. Tighten until butyl seal spreads evenly and sealing washers fully seat. While the splice foot is tested and approved for deck attachment, it is recommended to always attach to the rafters when possible and use deck attachments as a secondary option for mounting. Structural integrity and condition of the roof decking should always be evaluated for each roof before installing. To install the splice foot to the decking, you will need to order additional splice foot screws, as there are only two screws per mount included in each splice foot kit. When attaching to the deck of a roof, you will always use four screws into the outer corners of the mount. Do not over torque and be sure ceiling washers seat properly. When attaching the cross rail to the splice foot, you will only need to use one T-bolt set into one of the slots. One T-bolt set is included per mount in each box of the splice feet.
The only time both slots are used with two T-bolt sets is when the mount is being used as a rail connector or splice. This is optional. Make sure to follow us on social media for more product updates. Thank you for watching.